What we're going to do is talk a little bit about the actual mechanics of how do you actually go about becoming an advocate and hopefully leave you guys with some nuggets, tips and tricks, things that you could take home and then the next time we do this, you get a little bit better at it. So a lot of the things I put up here are things that I've learned myself, mistakes that I've done, or just things that folks ahead of me have you know, shown me along the way. So this is me sharing that with you. Sounds good? All right. So why advocate? Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. So Don Wagner couldn't have articulated better. They need help. They need to know what we know so that the legislation they make will make sense. So who else knows that better than us? So um, for them to know our point of view, we have to speak up. So this is why we're doing these events. This is why later on we're going to go up, introduce ourselves, and make ourselves available as a resource to them. Because as Don said, they don't know healthcare. All right. Now, pre-meeting message. It is very important that the message we bring is relevant, not just to us, but to the staffer or the person across the table from you. A lot of times, and I've seen this in DC a lot, people just focus on this part. They could care less about this part. So what happens is they go in, tell their spiel, pounding on the table, and then after that, the staffer says, mm-hmm. Thank you. OK, cool. Next meeting. You do not want that. So before the meeting, you want to be able to make sure that you either know a little bit about what they do, or at least find an area that's relevant to both parties. Because otherwise, it's just a dialogue of the deaf. Just the smile and nod, which is I call, if that is the death of a meeting, smile and nod. If there's no participation, there, there's no pushback, anything, smile and nod is not a good thing. Meeting. So one of the hardest things is to book a meeting with these guys. And uh, kudos to, to Danica for helping us out and uh, Ashante, the team, and shout out to uh, Joshua and David, who helped, I was I just came back from DC, did congressional visits on behalf of California. They booked those as well. It is really hard. So we try to contact them, right? And then they tell you, we probably have an opening at 2 o'clock on a Thursday three months from now. And then you just have to be persistent. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> uh, and you just keep at it. You just keep at it. You know, keep calling them up. See what you can do. If you can't get a hold of the actual <coughs> legislator, try the chief of staff. If that doesn't work, field representative. If that doesn't work, front desk. Someone. You will eventually end up with someone. And then you get to book an appointment. So for today, we have eight visits. So it took a lot of work to get those eight visits done. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a few. I did not press it. Um, next thing is materials. So what do you bring, right? So um, you definitely want to talk about your organization. And for today, for our visit, that's the bulk of what we're going to talk about. Because a lot of the folks we're going to meet with, they probably heard of HIMSS, but they don't really know what HIMSS is. And they don't know that we're composed of just the whole spectrum in healthcare, from provider to vendor to IT to clinician. Um, to administration, to educators. So it's a great thing, as uh, Don said earlier, this is not Ian Slade talking to you. This is Ian Slade on behalf of this big organization that has thought through what the message is. It's a really big difference. So you want to talk about your chapter, state, district. Later on, we're trying to uh, group people into their respective districts, or at least close to. So there's, again, some sort of a relationship there. Why is it moving? Is it motion sensitive? OK. And uh, what is it? I broke it. Looks like it. Um, so let me put, there you go. It works. So talk about your chapter, who you are, right? Get, 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 them, get them to uh, know a little bit more about you. 
And your ask, use your verbs. What is it that you want them to do? Do you want them to just be more aware? And that's what we're going to be doing a lot today, just awareness. Uh, for your follow-up visits, do you want them to co-sponsor a bill? Do you want them to support a bill? Do you want them to bring up an amendment when it comes to the markup piece? So use your verbs. What do you want them to do? And the more specific, the better. Okay. And references, resources, supporting documents. So that's why in the packet in front of you, there's a lot of supporting documents. So this isn't just something that Sherry came up with out of the blue. No, there's some reference materials behind what we're presenting to you. And at a bare minimum, we're going to give them a packet, a leave behind, and they love the packets. <laughs> uh, every time I go meet with folks, they really appreciate the fact that it's a resource material for them. They obviously won't get to read everything, but, oh, telehealth, uh, that dude gave me a packet two weeks ago. Let me pull up that packet, see what's in there. So it's very good that you're not just bringing whatever your cause is, but giving them information they can use. Three parts, hook, who are you, line we talked about, and singer, the ask. Always end with an ask. Okay, cool, you came out here, what is it that you want? Right. And for today, it is more of awareness, and that's fine. Remember, advocacy is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a relationship that we're building with these guys. All right. Now we're going to, so that was the, all the prep prior to the meeting. Now we're going to jump into the meeting itself, right? Day of stuff. So first thing, keep calm and stay on message. A lot of groups, especially when they're very passionate about the topic, they kind of segue here and there. And you only have on a good day 20 minutes if you have a 30-minute appointment. They're going to come in a little late, and they're going to cut you off a little early because they have to go to their next meeting. Probably have 20 minutes. 15 most likely. So make sure that you stay on topic when you're talking to them. And another thing that's very important is uh, most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. It's a big difference between the two. So when you're listening to them, try to make sure you understand them so you can connect to them. See what's important to them and then make yourself a resource to whatever it is they're working on. So one of the things that we've done, uh, especially with the DC visits, if they're on the appropriations committee, we, we focus more on the budgets. If they're on the intelligence committee, focus more on cybersecurity. So make sure you know, you're listening to them and what you're presenting is relevant to them as well. So when they ask questions, try to understand where they're coming from. And it's OK to say, you know what, great point. I don't know the answer. But guess what? We have 55,000 members. We can go back, we can ask questions, we can get the resources, and I will come back and give you the answer, okay? Post-meeting, so meeting went well, handshakes, did the photos. Very important that you keep in touch, you know? Email, uh, social media, and after which, see if you can participate. So I met with, um, uh, one of the offices, I uh, can't remember what district uh, up in, in, in LA that they represent, but anyway, they have an event for the, for the vets. And one of the asks, hey, Ian, can you come and talk about what you guys are doing in the telehealth space? Participate. Yeah, of course I'm going to show up. And then he said, can, can you give us any materials? Of course, we'll email this to you. So it's a two-way relationship that you're building. And even today, uh, with Senator um, Ed Hernandez talking to his chief of staff, he said, hey, if you guys are walking over, swing by. I want to hear more about you guys. So that is a great opportunity, and we're going to do that in just a bit. So another thing that we can work on, too, probably for next year, is if anyone, uh, for example, you know, uh, State Senator Hernandez, if there's something tangible that they're doing that's worthy of a certificate of awesomeness, Let's recognize them, and other states have. And it's a great way to get legislators to listen to what uh, we're talking about. Ohio did a great job with it, and a few other states. And they post it, too, on their, on their wall so that people can see, oh, what, what organization is HIMSS? So it's a good way to, for press for both sides. And one of the things that we're pushing for, 
and we did this at Children's Hospital um, in Orange County, is have them visit uh, your place of work, the hospital, the clinic. And a lot of the staffers who went said, I've never been to a hospital. I really don't know how this affects. And when they see how it affects, in this case it was kids, like, oh my god, this telehealth really is a big thing. So it, it adds color to their experience. It's not just text for them that they're shuffling around. So common pitfalls to avoid, um, don't discount meeting with a staff member. So sometimes you, know, you want to meet with a senator or a congressperson, and then you get to meet with a staff member. Well, don't discount them, because they're the ones that meet with them and say, hey, where are we on this issue? They provide the input. So you want to be BFFs with the staff member who's providing that input. Don't assume confirm. Um, setting up meetings. Make sure that you follow up twice, thrice, because otherwise they forget. When you're in the meeting, don't rush. Try to relate. There is a tendency in healthcare to cram in as much information as possible. Remember the patient discharge instructions, right? And the guy's already drugged, and you're giving him that, and I'm guilty. I was a, worked in the ED. Don't rush. Try to see if you can get two or three things through. And don't debate, communicate. Sometimes you're on the opposite side of the aisle. Uh, Don Wagner, I see him every other week. We fly in at the same time. We are not on the same side of most issues. But we, <laughs> we communicate. We communicate. Why, why is that your stand? So we communicate. And follow up. Don't be a stranger. Don't wait for them to reach out to you. Reach out to them. And lastly, don't wait, participate. You know, be a resource. Go out. See what you can do. Uh, I'm meeting with um, uh, a field rep in San Diego two weeks from now because the national office called and said, hey, you need to meet with Ian. He has some good stuff to talk about, telehealth and cybersecurity. So go out. Reach out. Now, there are a lot of resources available for us. This isn't our day job, so we don't know everything about advocating. So we have great resources that you can go to. All right? And uh, go to the HIMSS Policy Center. Is everyone a member of HIMSS? OK, good, good, good. If not, please uh, sign up. It's a great organization, if you haven't heard of so far. Um, <laughs> and, and participate. And, and these are great resources available for you. And again, the volunteers. This whole event was put together by volunteers. People took time away from their family, their work, their friends. Probably work is a good thing. But um, <laughs> to help put this event together. So we need more people. So please, volunteer. And let's keep in touch. These are my digits. Uh, please feel free to reach out. And again, if I don't know the answer, we have 5,000 members in California, 55 throughout the country. Someone knows whatever it is you're asking about. So let's keep in touch. <laughs>